Hello to all you beautiful people out there in the world. Come out, come out from wherever you are. Come out, come out from where you are. In the cracks and crevices of fear, doubt, and despair, come out from wherever you are. From the shadows of unhappiness and loneliness and misery, come out, come out from wherever you are. Come out from those places and be who you are. Come out from those places to be the beautiful person that you are. No more hiding. No more avoiding the challenges that are before you. Accept the challenges, beautiful people, that are before you. And don't run from those challenges. Don't hide in the shadows. Don't hide in those deep, dark places that you uh, so had so commonly known or you have become comfortable with knowing. And those places you have become so relaxed in, not being your beautiful self. It's time to be that person. Now is the acceptable time to be your beautiful self. Don't run from challenges and don't try to face those challenges in fear. No, don't be afraid to face those challenges and don't allow fear to be the driving force which compels you. As a result of that fact, you won't overcome those challenges functioning in fear. Fear will kill you, but faith will heal you. Allow that faith to heal you, beautiful people. Allow faith to be that platform for which you stand. Allow someone beautiful, beautiful people like your beautiful self to lend you a hand so that you can be that overcoming person that your beautiful self was meant to be. Enjoy your beautiful self. And don't allow fear to imprison you. Don't be imprisoned by fear. Don't allow fear to speak to you and tell you that it's not possible or that you can't do it. Yes, you can. You can do it, beautiful people. Don't alienate yourself from people because you've been hurt by people in life, in life, beautiful people. Don't think or believe, beautiful people, that there aren't any more beautiful people in this beautiful world, beautiful people, because you've been hurt by people or because people have offended you in some way. Don't allow those offenses and those past experiences, beautiful people. Don't allow them to dictate your way of thinking and living. Accept, beautiful people, the fact that you can and you will overcome how you may or may not be feeling as a result of that fact. You know, take into account that there are still beautiful people in the world, such as your beautiful self is and such as my beautiful self is. Don't look at or don't relate every experience to the experiences you've had in the past that didn't favor you so well. Look at or relate yourself to or Allow beautiful people like myself and beautiful people that you may or may not know and beautiful people that you may be surrounded by or with. But beautiful people are clearly known and seen and understood as beautiful people. They are. You know, you you have a, a, a sense of understanding, a sense of awareness, 
I know your beautiful selves do. And you can discern when people are beautiful, when they're honest, and when they're sincere. And when those beautiful people, like myself and like your beautiful self, have your best interests at heart. You know, accept that. Accept that, you know, and leave yourself open so that, you you know, that can be relatable to you, you know, to have that experience. So that when you sit back in the stillness of the day or the quietness of the night, in the evening, you know, when you, when you retract your mind and you recant your thoughts and you revert back, you know, to the things that transpired and took place in your beautiful day, beautiful people. When that happens, the one thing that's going to stand out or the things that are going to stand out is the beautiful people who had, effect on you, had an, an effect on your life. You know, the beautiful people that with those beautiful smiles radiating from their beautiful souls made you feel comfortable in their presence. Those are the people that, you know, you want to be inspired by. Leave your beautiful self open so that you can have that tall drink of love, kind words and smiles, you know, to fill your beautiful, lovely soul with. So that when your beautiful self, metaphorically speaking, gets full off of those kind words and smiles. You know, you can, metaphorically speaking, you can burp and you can relax. And, you know, and appre appreciate the taste of its beauty. You know, that would, that would leave you longing for more of its pleasures to enjoy. You know, just leave your beautiful self open to accept the fact that trouble don't last always, beautiful people. And everybody's not out to hurt your beautiful self, you know, or to make your beautiful self unhappy, beautiful people. Just separate those yourself from those other beautiful people, you know, unfortunately, who meant you no good or created the harm. So that, you know, you could just love those beautiful people and treat them right from a distance in passing. But don't when you see those beautiful, those beautiful people, beautiful people, you know, don't go back into sheltering yourself, you know, from being sociable and being happy in life. Because you allow your mind to go back when you saw that, those beautiful for people who cause you hurt and harm. No, don't allow that to happen. And don't do that. Don't, no. When you see those beautiful people, you know, in passing, you know, just look at them and smile and just, you know, just stay, have a smiling day. You know, and keep, and just keep going. You know, and then tell yourself in going, see, you handled that real well. You didn't get frustrated. You didn't get upset. You didn't get angry. You know, you didn't go run and hide, you know, and, see, you know, say, see, look what they've done to me, beautiful people. They're still doing it to me. No, they're not. Don't do it to yourself. That's what your beautiful self don't do. Don't do that to your beautiful self, okay? Allow your beautiful self you know, to remain free. You know, hold fast to that liberty in which you were set free from those feelings of anger, frustration, and bitterness. You allow yourself to be free from that. So walk in that freedom. Exist in that freedom. Exist in that liberation. You know, and continue your beautiful self to move forward. Because chances are, and I like to believe so, you know, as those people, you know, who caused you harm in life or has hurt you or wounded your beautiful self in one way or another, 
you know, is growing and maturing in life. You know, and they're having a, I like to think that they're having a clearer, a better outlook on things. And they had some time to think about what, you know, transpired and took place between their beautiful self and your beautiful self. You know, and they're learning with someone else speaking into their life, you know, like I'm blessed and, you know, to speak into your beautiful life or your beautiful lives, you know, that that's coercing them or coaching them, you know, to relate to life and to relate to, to things in life from a clearer perspective, from a clearer view, viewpoint, you know, so that, uh, you know, when they go back out into life and back into the world or back out into society, you know, they're better learning how to relate to people like your beautiful self and how to treat people like your beautiful self. You know, because life is for the living, beautiful people. And your beautiful self, as a result of that fact, cannot give up on living. You can't stop living. You know. Don't continue to revolve in that same mentality of thinking and existing and living. You know, because 20, 25, 40, and 50 is, you know, has passed. And, and, you know, your numbers of maturity, your numbers and growing up in life. And as a result of that fact, it should have matured you to what number, ever age that is to be, you know, a more aware, a more conscientious in your thinking caliber person in terms of how you relate to things and how you allow you would you would allow things to affect you in a negative sense as opposed to a positive manner of you know thinking and living. You know, choosing your words carefully to not speak negative words, you know, but choosing life to speak positive words in terms of being good to yourself and relating to and experiencing the better beautiful side of you. You know, that person who is longing to be free has been crying for that liberation and that freedom has been long, you know, hoping, you know, chances are in praying that transformation in your life and change would come and it would take place. And you can enjoy beautiful you, you know, and, you know, and from a more clear perspective in life, in a more enjoyable, enjoyable way of thinking and living in life, you know, and that's a beautiful choice to make, and it's a beautiful challenge to take on. Accept that challenge. Accept that challenge to be free. Accept that challenge to be beautiful you. Accept that challenge to be more of being beautiful you. You know, and you know, and and, and maintain that liberation and that focus. You know, and. Be excited about it. You know, go out and tell people, I, I'm, I'm changed. I'm not the same person anymore. You know, I don't think like I used to think. I don't live like I used to think, live. Things don't affect me, you know, so easily anymore. It takes a lot to affect me now. It takes a lot to get to me. It takes, you know, a whole lot, you know, to challenge me from being the beautiful person that I am. You know, accept that. And go out and share it with the world. Go out and share it with somebody else. You'll be surprised, you know, the stories that you hear in terms of how people will open up to you and share with you their feelings and their emotions and, you know, tell you stories of, you know, how they overcame things and how they better relate to them and deal with them now or where they are with what they're stuck on and don't quite know how to move past it. You could be the catalyst. You could be the conduit that they need, you know, to bring about that that influence. You see, 
You could be that that conduit. You could be, you know, you could be the the, the person, you know, that you know brings about that effect in their lives in terms of affecting them so that they can be affected like you was affected, you know, when it when it came to change or for change to take place in your beautiful lives, beautiful people. You know, remain beautiful still. You know, you will always be beautiful. Nothing in life that has happened to you will consume you or destroy you. Don't allow that to happen. There's always another chapter. There's always another verse. And there's always another script to be written or to be read. And allow it to be so. Beautiful people. Now, there, there, there's no checking out. There, there is no because of what he, she, they said or did, you know, warrants you, you know, to... Just let it go because there's nothing no longer that you feel that there is to hold on to. There's always something else. There's always another chapter. There's always another verse. There's always another line. There's always another viewpoint. There are always, there's always, there always will be another point that you should, you know, move, move on from where you are, you know, to a point. That in which you've never experienced before, or have never been, ever been exposed to. There's always that point. Yes, it is beautiful people. There is another point. There is no cashing in. There is no cashing out. Though is there is no throwing in your time. Here on this earth, there is none of those things happening. You have goals to reach. You have chapters in your life that you need to conclude and, you know, that you need to continue to fulfill. And you will. You will fulfill them. There is no other person available to fulfill them but you. You are the one. You are the person to fulfill them. Your beautiful self. Beautiful people. Yes, you are the one that will fulfill them and cause them beautiful people to be, to be complete. There's no one else left to do it for you, beautiful people. You have to do it your beautiful self. Why? Because there is not another you. Beautiful people, and neither indeed can there be another you. To fulfill those things, those tasks, that were laid before you for you to fulfill and complete. So get busy completing, okay? Get busy fulfilling in a beautiful way, beautiful people. Get busy, beautiful people, bringing those things to pass that only your beautiful beautiful self can do. So get it done, beautiful people. And be beautiful, beautiful people while you're doing it. Okay? I want you beautiful people to know that you are an exceptionally beautiful person. Your soul is full of love, kind words, and smiles to give away and to share with the world. And one beautiful, big, giant, huge, everlasting smile that's left for your beautiful, kind self with a smile. Always be mindful to nurture you first. Always be mindful to embrace your beautiful self with that beauty that's in your beautiful eternal soul. That's right, loathe in it. Embrace it, swim in it. Swim in it like a lake, a pool, an ocean. Swim in it and get all wet in its beauty, okay? And always remember to, to remain beautiful still and maintain that beauty, beautiful people. Come one, come all. Stop by one and all. To anyone and to everyone. And to all you beautiful people. 
Come by and smile with me. Stop by and smile with me. Stop by and share an everlasting, an ongoing, and its continuance, beautiful, kind words, and a selfless smile. Stop by and smile with me. Frank Anderson. Kind words. And a smile, beautiful people. And be good to yourselves. And be mindful of that fact, that fact that I sure will be good to you. And go out and find someone to share beautiful you with those beautiful, kind words that feels that's in your soul to fill your mind with, to come out of your beautiful mouth to share with some other beautiful people. Have a smiling day.